Hey, Rudy with Groovy Cycle Works here. Got a lot of questions about welding with titanium and how to make sure that we purge both inside and outside the tube. So today I thought I'd show you a quick video showing you the setup that I use for welding the <coughs> caps on the end of our love handles. This is a tough uh, little segment to work with because not only do you need to get full coverage on the outside around both the flat surface and the corner around of the cap, but you also need to get inside the tube to make sure that there's no contamination when you're all done. The way I accomplished this is I made a little fixture here uh, that's two part. Uh, the first part is a, a little rolling fixture that allows me to rotate the piece while it's on. The second is a small chamber that holds the entire grip section in it as well as the cap. Um, it's slotted on top to allow me to insert the piece into it. Um, and then I have that attached through some tubing to allow me to purge the inside, escaping through the upper hole, as well as from the outside. So, let's get at it. I've been purging the inside, allowing sufficient time for it to evacuate probably two to three times its internal surface um, space. Uh, so now I'm going to turn down my gas using my manifold so I don't create any internal turbulence within the piece. And uh, now we're going to weld the cap on. So, granny glass is on so I can see a little bit better. Helmet. The helmet I use is just a standard fiber helmet. Uh, standard lens with a gold uh, cover on it. That way it helps me to see the puddle a little more clearly. It has a nice big window as well. I grab the cap here, set of tweezers, I slide it down through the slotted section, and then press the grip up against it to hold it in place. I'm going to tack it around four times before I then sequentially weld all the way around it. First tack done, I rotate it 180 degrees, apply pressure again. I've got my post flow, or how long the gas continues to flow after the arc is done, set fairly long so it allows me to rotate to the new position without losing any of my gas flow. Okay, this last one, I'm just going to go ahead and continue my weld. Slowly rotating my grip as I go. I'm able to do a little longer runs inside the purge fixture because the entire inside of it is purged with argon. So it lets me get the piece a little hotter than what I normally would while still keeping it fully encased in the shielding gas. Pausing at the end of each run to make sure that my metal cools underneath the external flow of gas before I move on. As I continue to weld around, I have residual heat buildup, so it takes a little longer for each one to fall below that critical temperature. This last one here, I'm just going to hold it, give it another tap. Keep my post flow going to make sure that I have it fully cooled in the inert gas before I pull it out. Alright, hopefully what we'll have when we take this out of here is a weld zone that is completely clear of any discoloration. Uh, we typically have just a little bit of discoloration on the very middle of the cap where it presses up against the inside support. Uh, it tends to retain heat there. And we'll just rotate this thing out of here. And what we have is a nice, clean, well-beat edge. 
a little bit of discoloration there on the end, which we'll clean up. Um, but it's important that it's away from the weld zone, so it won't be an issue for us. Let's flip our video around here. We'll show you the setup that we use very quickly. This is my purge setup. Uh, basically just a standard aluminum block uh, with ports in it. I use Parker valves, which are a micro-adjust valve that let me truly adjust the amount of argon that's flowing through those. Just a standard machined plug for the end of that grip, and all that runs right up to a standard dedicated bottle for the purge setup. So that's how we do it. Purging the inside of the love handle grip to ensure that we get the weld zone from the inside and outside completely covered in inert gas. If you have any questions, contact me at roadie at groovycycleworks.com. Thanks.